Now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. It's been another day with bright sunny skies out there. It is hot out there and very dry. We definitely need the rain and I think we will see some as we get into Friday. In fact, a couple of uh, showers and thunderstorms, those thunderstorms couple could be strong to severe. So it's one of those nights where we'll have to stay weather aware. But right now, enjoy the clear blue sky, the sunshine. Temperatures are still very warm, well above average. Normal highs around 84, back up into the low 90s for today. And we are at 89 this hour with those clear skies. Guys, lots of sunshine. Dew point feeling good. It is comfortable out there, and those uh, the humidity levels very low here too. The winds are out of the south southwest at 10. Breezy today, so it did feel nice with those hot numbers, those hot temperatures. So we did have those gusts up to 20 miles an hour. Those will begin to subside for later tonight, and we will see some clouds roll in, especially by our Friday morning. So we do have a change on the way. Some unsettled weather. We do have a chance for those showers as we get into late tomorrow afternoon. Current temperatures, we still have the upper 80s to the low 90s. 91 this hour in Monticello. We've got 87 uh, in Crawfordsville, 88 back through Rensselaer. So still very hot out there for this evening. It will be a warm one for us. And those winds are out of the southwest. They are up to around 13, 18, 15 miles an hour across the area. Again, those will begin to calm down for later this evening. Our eyes are focused on what's happening to the upper Midwest. They have severe weather through Wisconsin and Minnesota. We've got this dragging, this trailing cold front that that's going to be a big weather maker for us as we get into tomorrow afternoon. And with that very warm air in place, that cold front's going to create some instability. And that's why we have a chance for those uh, strong to severe thunderstorms. They will be isolated, very spotty. We're not looking at anything widespread, uh, but we do have that chance. Overnight tonight, staying mild. We're only going to be in the upper 60s to around 70. So that's where we're going to bottom out a mild start to our Friday, a little more humid as well, and we will see those temperatures climb back up into the low 90s. So we're thinking 92 degrees for tomorrow afternoon, and here comes that cold front, and that's what's going to spark those showers and thunderstorms. Along with that, you can see the muggy meter here. We begin to creep up as we get into Friday. Once that cold front pushes through for the weekend, we're going to drop here. Temperature should be in the 80s. Still warm. We'll be still above average, but at least we'll be in the 80s, and then we're going to climb back up. Rain chances continue you all weekend long this holiday weekend. Futurecast is showing you anytime after six o'clock we're seeing those isolated uh, thunderstorms begin to pop up. But look at this. This is not looking good as we get into the eight o'clock hour. The main threats are going to be some very heavy rain, st strong gusty winds and some hail along with the lightning. That's going to move out of here though for Saturday. Saturday looks mainly dry, but as we get into Sunday and even into uh, Monday is where we've got a chance for some showers. Unfortunately, could be uh, around the time where we have those fireworks displays. Here's a look at your seven day then 92 for tomorrow, 86 for Saturday, 87 for Sunday, back up to 91 for the 4th of July on Monday. And we do have a risk for some spotty 